our examples, you have seen these small words, U and UN. So now is the time to understand what is the difference between them and why they are used. Let's start with some examples. For example, he is a doctor. She is a nurse. She is a teacher. A doctor, a nurse, a teacher. Then, he is an architect. An architect. He is an engineer. An engineer. He is an actor. An architect, an engineer, an actor. So we have he's a doctor, but he's an actor. Look at the two sentences really carefully. What is the difference? Do you have any idea why in the first example we need a and in the second one we need an? There is something there with the letters. Pay attention to this. A doctor, a nurse, a teacher, an architect, an engineer, an actor. That's it. So when we use you sorry, we use a when the next word, which is a noun, starts with a consonant D, N, T, B, C, and so on. We use an when the next word starts with a letter which is a vowel. The vowels in English are five. So what you need to do is to remember them and you know in Okay, not in 100, but in 90%, these are only the situations in which you need UN. So, you remember A, E, I, O, U. And these are the vowels. A is used with a consonant. UN is used with a vowel. Good. Now, let's look at some more examples to understand in what situations, when you need to put these words. This is a chair. This is an umbrella. This is a table. You can't say this is chair or this is umbrella. It's wrong. Also, this is an elephant. This is a river. This is an iron. So, can you see some similarities, something that is the same for all of these examples? Okay, let me help you. A or an is used when you speak about a profession. He is a doctor. She is a nurse. I am a teacher. You are a student. He is a programmer. She is a painter. When you speak about the profession of somebody, you put a or an in front. Also, when you speak about one thing, one only, which is countable, Countable means that you can say one, two, three, one chair, two chairs, three chairs. So, when you have one countable noun, then you use a or an in front of it. This is a chair, this is an umbrella. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> in English, there are quite often exceptions. 
some strange things which are not exactly the same as the general rule. For example, you say an hour, a university, an SMS, a European country. You see what's the problem here? For example, our starts with H. H is not a vowel, not at all. But pay attention to the pronunciation. An hour. Ah. The first sound that you hear is a vowel. And this is what matters. This is what's important. Hour. Ah. So then you put an. A university. You. In transcription, you is written with J. J. U. So in front of this sound, you don't put an. You put a. A university. The same. An SMS. A. Vowel. SMS. A European country. U. J. U in transcription. Remember this. It's important what you hear. When you hear a vowel, then you write an. And of course, when we speak about professions and when we speak about countable nouns in singular. Or at least for now. <laughs> there are a lot of other rules, but for now it's perfectly enough. Good. Let's practice what we've learned. And first of all, of course, let's check the PDF with the exercises. Okay. A uh, or on. It's one exercise, in fact, and it's real easy. You just need to write a uh, or on. Good luck. See you in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum. لا تنسوا الإعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد إن شاء الله.